Welcome viewers to another matchup here in Group B. We have Mr. Math 101 coming in with, I believe it's a 2-in-1 record versus SC War Machine 21, who I believe is currently 0-in-1 right now. Go ahead and I'll actually do this on some of these videos now. We'll pull up Group B. Uh, yes, that does seem to be the current records there. You can see Mr. Math and SC War Machine. You can find these linked in the most recent Facebook post. And both our players are ready to get underway. Bands are Panorama and Refinery. And let's go ahead and get this started. Uh, let's see, we've got War Machine. Starting off with a Thor's hammer on the math with the spawn above. Trying to keep an eye on the action while we suicide. I've been trying to focus a little less on speed and just being able to see what's going on. We do see the swarm of moths on a math and a fire Gehenna also thrown. Looks like a shield has been broken. War Machine fires his own fire Gehenna and breaks a glacial wall out of math. Both of them lose two healths from their own fire Gehennas. War Machine still without a shield. Throws a third Thor's hammer. None of those have connected. Gotta wonder what he's going for here with that many one-time uses. This may be... Looks kind of like the deck he used against Multitude in their palace match, where he uh, ran the Arrow of Artemis and they ran out to a draw there. The Standing Agonies dash as well that we saw out of uh, Multitude in that match. So we'll have to see how he handles the aggression here from Math. Managed to dodge that Venom Fang. Miramasa breaks the Angel's Wing. Math got caught with his pants down there by a Fire Gehenna on the way back up the stairs. Next Fire Gehenna doesn't make contact. That one caught by the vacuum wall. Math getting pretty low on shields, but War Machine getting a little low on life. We see the shield of Aegis. Aegis? Aegis? blocks. Now the Arrow of Artemis does come out. This does look like the same deck he used against Multitude. Should be expecting an Agonies at some point as well. We've got two shields here. And that Venom Fang caught him mid-air of all things. Not an ability you'd normally expect to pull off there. Throws out an Arrow of Artemis. Doesn't connect. War Machine still looking to hit that Agonies uh, at a good angle right now. Math with a slick cartwheel, unable to really see it coming, manages to cartwheel over it. Throttle Fireball laying down some more suppressing fire down on, Ma on War Machine. One more hit and War Machine's down. A flash hole here would go really far for him. We see the swarm of moths, dodged by Math, who is looking to go on the offensive now, probably looking to get a melee execute. Throws out, throttle fireball, and he does connect after the Venom Fang loops back around. Second throttle fireball gives Math a 1-0 lead in the series. Next matchup will be on Highway. Gonna go to Sunlight Highway. Fill us up with happiness here on this bright, happy day. Players are ready. Here we go. That was not the direction I really would have liked to throw that. We see a 2R start out of both here. See math aggressing with a bullet of fire, it looks like. Could be a blazing bullet. I didn't see the actual animation. 
Uh, War Machine manages to dodge the two or three that were thrown at him. Manages to, with a little bit of an overwrite, get a level amp. Now up to five aura. Math possibly in a bad spot if War Machine can continue to get aura and get online with vibration. Which we do see the yellow wisps coming out of him, meaning an optic deck. Math with the purple means we, we're going to see the faith nature out of math. See him power up now with the heat. Let's see, War Machine not getting the levels that he needs here. At least not if that is a vibration deck. Bullet of Fire, dodged by War Machine. And again. Manages to not take any damage from trash, but the flame sword finally corners him. A ray shell takes the bullet of fire. War machine more confident in dodging the flame sword than the bullet of fire constantly. Uh, takes another four damage from the flame sword. Math. Gonna keep the pressure on while War Machine doesn't have a shield. Four attacks out of War Machine. We don't know what is in his hand, though. Yet to see any aggression out of him. Just trying to stay alive. Another Flame Sword connects. He's got four health left. Next shot takes him out. Completely flubs the Aura Cannon, and that will be a quick game to math. 2-0 lead. Going into game three. The Panorama ban. We will go to City. Go ahead and get this underway. See War Machine powering up with a plus one damage there. Moving in. See a flame sword. This War Machine chases math. Looking to do the same thing Math did to him last game, but the cartwheel are a little bit harder to pin down than a jumper with the flame sword. War Machine gives up. Doesn't manage to get back in range for the boost mine or capitalize off of the self stun. Another boost mine out of Math. War Machine doesn't bother trying to go back this time. Uh, he picks up his own yellow, drops his shield, strangely enough. Math now at 9 aura. We're seeing the nature aura out of War Machine and an optic aura out of Math. Giga Ruin does connect. See a second heat used by War Machine. Holding on to that yellow still. Another green in hand. Vibration laser comes out. Dash gets him to safety. So we've got the Nature Kai. Not safe enough. Needs to close in. Tiger Strength is the second green there. And Lightning Sword erased, but does break the erased shell. That seven damage Flame Sword could do some major damage. War Machine thinks he can go back to his base, but that is risky. Not sure what gave him that idea. Dashes off the map. Does have the Iron Skin. But he's continuing to take laser damage there. That sign is not your friend. And that'll be it. Dash right into the vibration laser, knocks him off the map, and that is a 3 0 win for math.
Good play, though, out of War Machine. Definitely fun to watch. That 7 damage Flame Sword was terrifying, honestly. Math playing some really good dodging game there to keep away from it and kept down the laser fire so that War Machine was unable to safely access his base. And when he finally tried to again, we saw what happened. Good play from both players, and thanks for tuning in.